Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. For those of you who are new to my channel, let me introduce you to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, the life-size fabric sculpture dolls you see sitting behind me. I created these dolls myself and as I was sewing them, they would not stop talking to me and this led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series. I have so far book one, two, and three. This is a super juicy, provocative story about human evolution. This story led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess Tarot deck that I am going to be using today to give you a message from your inner boss. Thank you so much for watching. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Take what you need and ignore what doesn't apply by selecting the color of the right butterfly. Your thoughts create your reality, so please keep this in mind. When selecting a pick a card message to help you define your unconscious core beliefs that may be unknown at this time, listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the true butterfly choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say to help you find your way. Hello, darling. If you selected number four, the pink and green divine feminine butterfly, this is your inner boss reading. Each divine feminine butterfly is stuffed with what I call my supreme dream mix of herbs, oils, and gemstones for beauty, love, prosperity, and good luck. If you would like to purchase a divine feminine butterfly, they are available in my Etsy shop. The link is located in the description box below. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darling, if you selected the pink and green divine feminine butterfly, this reading is for you from your inner boss. So first I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about your message for your, from your inner boss. So what I'm picking up from this particular hand is that um, you have strong ancestral ties, um, communal living, group order, group prosperity. Um, there's like a spiritual heritage where where you're from, like, I don't know, like in your roots or that people who try to get ahead are look, are frowned upon. The ancestor roots, the group order, the group prosperity, the spiritual heritage, these are like fundamental values that focus on the survival of the group. So making sure everybody's basic needs are met, making sure everybody have food and everybody have shelter, where no one tries to um, excel or compete or is better than anyone else in the group. It's all about the um, communal type living. That is the, the big picture that I'm picking up, especially from the card that says safety first. Um, so you grew up in a family 
I'm not going to say if it's your family or if it's your ancestor roots, but basically they focus on keeping everyone safe and making sure that all of your basic needs were met. And you were taught to fit in and not to stand out. Standing out was like frowned upon. So everything that everybody shared was like inherited property and possessions. It really was a home or a farm. And so um, increase in abundance was something that was supposed to be shared with everyone. So, but a boss is, is really a person who... I want to say it's a person who reaches his or her full potential and is able to encourage others to participate in their dream. I, that's the way I, I think of it. I don't feel that a boss is necessarily like, sit down, shut up. Maybe that, that is a boss. But it's also a person who is doing a dance routine or a person who is writing a book and they have an editor or they have this person or they have a team that work for them so it's in my opinion it is still a team endeavor so um your, your cards one of the cards you have that says um true love is wanting what is best for the highest good so we have a card from jungle beauty goddess kalahari and it says that true love is wanting what is best for the highest good for all parties so basically um, when you're trying to figure out what's best for the highest good for all parties, you really want to do like what's best for your group, what's best for the community, what's best for the tribe, what's best for your, your ancestors, what's best for your your spiritual heritage. So you kind of shy away from doing what's best for you, but this causes a artistic blockage. It, it's difficult to say, for example, you grew up in a family where everybody, you know, were orange pickers, and everybody worked on a farm, but you really, really, really want to, let's say, you know, be um, a math teacher, or you wanted to play, you know, the saxophone, and your family feel like, well, mm, no, we need you to pick oranges because that's what we do, or we need you to work at the family barbershop, we need you to work on the family business, or we come from a family of lawyers, how dare you want to be an artist? But whatever it is, you have to, um, trying to look out for the highest good for, um, you know, what, what is best for the highest good for all parties, you are neglecting your own personal dreams and goals and that's something that your inner and your inner boss cannot thrive in an environment where you are focused on maybe offending other people so one of the things your inner boss really wants you to know is you have a car from general beauty guys katara and her message from your inner boss is your highest and best self is your only competition this is one of my favorite cards so basically what this card is saying is that you you know um, you don't need to worry about outshining or overshadow shadowing or dominating anyone else because your highest and best self is your only competition like you child you're not in a competition with anybody you know what I'm saying this is not about what somebody else in the community is doing this is about you um, trying to be better today than you were yesterday you know what I mean? So you have to change the... I don't want to tell people, you know, what to change. Because maybe if you grew up in a home where you have been taught that you have to be in alignment with the, the group order or, you know, the communal um, ideology of what is best for everybody as opposed to what's best for you... I'm not going to tell people what to do. I don't believe in that. I'm just saying that your inner boss can't... Em I, I hate words I can't. It would be difficult for your inner boss to emerge and be successful when you're worried about um, how other people will be affected by you reaching your full potential and doing what is best for you in terms of what you enjoy and why you came to this planet. You pull the three cards by Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara who really is our focus on our root chakra. It, it is our ties to our ancestors, to our community, but it's also connected to our divine purpose. So sometimes 
our families, our ancestors, um, what they want us to do and what we want to do is in alignment. But sometimes we have come here to be a bridge to expand and develop the family lineage. So you also have a card that says your relationship with money is rooted in your childhood. And that has to do with, you know, the whole, like, I don't want to exploit people. I don't want to hurt other people. Um, whatever I get, I have to share with my family. I want to make sure everybody has enough to eat. I want to make sure there's a roof over our head. So there is no, you know, I don't want to take money to go to college when, you know, our grandmother needs to have hip surgery you know what I'm saying so if you've grown up in an environment where sharing with the with the family is more important than personal success your inner boss will have difficulty thriving surviving or um, yeah excelling if under those uh, certain circumstances so I also have a message for you from your star alien being, Amazon I here. Thank you for coming. And I am going to go over your message. So basically the message from your Amazonite is that it says an Indian chief is a servant. All leaders are servants. Um, to the people who revere them. In order for you to step into the role of a boss, of your inner boss, you must change your perspective about what a boss is. You must let go of the ideology of a boss being an oppressive, dominant, ego-driven being. A real boss is selfless, egoless, and they put the needs of their employees, families, and communities first. Because some people have abused the power of being a boss you have suppressed your natural leadership skills. In order for you to unleash your inner boss, you must change your concept and ideology about what a boss is so that you can help your community and help your tribe by excelling. Yes. Yes. See, only when, when we excel and when we are our highest and best self, we create networking opportunities with other groups, with other people. We, as a human species, and even as individuals, we evolve best when we're always being our highest and best self. I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling, if you selected number three, the brown divine feminine butterfly, this is your inner boss reading. Each divine feminine butterfly is stuffed with what I call my supreme dream mix of herbs, oils, and gemstones for beauty, love, prosperity, and good luck. If you would like to purchase a divine feminine butterfly, they are available in my Etsy shop. The link is located in the description box below. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darling, if you select the brown divine feminine butterfly, this reading is for you with a message from your inner boss. So the first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess, Katara, and her message to you is, know that you are beautiful just the way you are. The next card I have for you from Jungle Beauty Goddess, Katara, is she represents your root chakra. Your soul chose your body to carry out a particular mission on Earth. The next card I have for you is again we're playing some strong root chakra energy, which has to do with your divine purpose, your relationship with your ancestors, your relationship with your 
with your body, with your purpose, your mission. And her message is, true beauty is an act well done. And the last card I have for you with a message from your inner boss is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib's message to you is, choose your eye. wait, I'm sorry, close your eyes to see the truth, listen to silence to hear the answer. So the collective energy that I'm picking up from your hand is that you are a person who, your inner boss is like, look, you may feel that you should have been look a certain way or to achieve your highest aspirations or maybe if your life was different you would be different like I'm just giving examples like maybe you wish you were taller because then you could be a supermodel or if you were from a different culture or a different background if you if somehow your body your physical existence was different you feel like you could boss up and you could set the world on fire but you can't achieve those goals and dreams because you don't have the cultural background or the physical look or the money or the um, skill set but basically if you think about I want you to think about people like um, Lizzo. Lizzo is, does not look like what a, a typical pop star would look like, but she is still very successful. Steve Hawkins was in a wheelchair. Like these are people who have physical bodies that is that are not perfect, but they still were able to live a perfect life. Barbara Streisand said that when she was at the height height of her career. People kept begging her to get her nose job because they kept saying, well, your nose is too, you know, too big or too long. And she said, if my nose is good enough for God, then it's good enough for me. Barbara Walters had a lisp and people, when she, in the, in the early stages of her career, people kept telling her that she was not going to be a successful reporter because of her lisp. So basically, um, oh, Franklin D. Roosevelt, um, he was in a wheelchair and he was the president of the United States so basically there are several examples of people who have had physical appearances that did not that did that was not perfect that but their physical appearance did not stop them from achieving their highest goals, their highest aspirations, and their highest dreams. So whatever it is that you really want in your life, you really need to focus on your behavior. So just remember your appearance is not an obstacle, it's actually a blessing. It's you look the way you're supposed to look. Um, so your soul chose your body to carry a particular mission. So you're yes. So you look the way you're supposed to look. You've come from the family that you're supposed to come from. Your cultural background, the resources that you have. I know you might feel like um, if I had money, I would start a business. If I had this, I would do that. If I was taller, if I was shorter, if I was smart, smart. It really doesn't work like that. Um, the truth is, true beauty is an act well done. And I think this is what so many people tend to overlook or not think about true beauty is an act well done what that means is when you carry out the task let's say you set a goal for yourself and you say okay I'm going to write a book well you're you know you can't you know determine if people are going to read that book but you can um, follow through with your own actions um, if you show up for your life if you follow through if you say I'm gonna make a video you make that video if you say I'm going to travel if you say I'm whatever it is that you say you're going to do you have to follow follow through on that because that is where your true beauty lies it lies in the energy that you project into the world it lies in your actions not in not in the physical makeup of your body but in the way you express yourself in the world you also have a card from Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib that says close your eyes to see the truth and listen to silence to hear the answer this is one of my favorite cards so basically what Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib's message to you when she says close your eyes to see the truth if you were to close your eyes right now 
I want you just to take a moment and close your eyes. And I want you to ask yourself a series of questions like, what do people think about you as a person? Um, do you keep your word? You know, are you reliable? Are you accountable? Um, are you kind? Are you compassionate? Are you forgiving? So if you, if, if no one could see your body and they just judged you on your actions and the way you treat people and the way you talk to people, um, what would they think of you? So close your eyes to see the real you. If you could um, list, listen to silence to hear the answer, what do you want the world to remember about you when your earth suit no longer exists? What people, resources, and skills do you have to be grateful for? Are you taking advantage of the resources that are available to you now? So this is what I really love about close your eyes to see the truth and listen to silence to hear the answer. See, if you are focused on the external world and, you know, just looking around, comparing yourself or thinking, oh, I don't have this or I don't have that, then you are blocking the ability to access your inner truth, to know who you really are, to know what your your real skill skill set, your your real gifts, your real um, talents. That is why you need to be silent, and that is why you need to close your eyes, because that is where your real beauty lies, and that is where your inner boss comes to life. Your inner boss can cannot thrive if you are wishing that you were someone else or that things were different. Your inner boss thrives when it is attached to your highest um, concept, your highest ideology of who you are as a human being. So you have a card that says, um, so you that know that you are beautiful just the way you are. And I think this is the most important card. Know that you are beautiful just the way you are. So the way you the way you are right now, and you pull three cards from Katara who represents our root chakra, our roots, our ancestors, our bloodline, our purpose, our earth suit, why we're here. Like just know that you were born in the right conditions under the right circumstances to do and be whatever it is that you want. But you have to most importantly understand that it is your actions that people would judge you by. It is how you treat other people. It's whether you carry out those dreams. You know, it's not what you look like. It's how you express your inner beingness. That is really where your inner boss comes to life. And that is the message your inner boss have for you. I also have a message from you from your star alien being. And this is it's a train being and I want to get makeup on them and it says and the message from your star alien being is if you change one thing you must change everything honor your past your genes your ancestors every seed planted every word spoken every heartbeat led you to this moment in time please do not squander the time you have on this planet um the time you have been given, wishing you were someone else or somewhere else, you could have had everything you ever wanted. You need to unleash your inner boss and rule the world by creating the life of your dreams, by accepting who you are. So that is the message I have from you, for you, from your inner boss. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling, if you selected number two, the pink divine feminine butterfly, this is your inner boss reading. Each divine feminine butterfly is stuffed with what I call my supreme dream mix of herbs, oils, and gemstones for beauty, love, prosperity, and good luck. If you would like to purchase a Divine Feminine Butterfly, they are available in my Etsy shop. The link is located in the description box below. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.
Hello, darling. If you selected the pink and black divine feminine butterfly, ah, uh, isn't this gorgeous? Then this reading is for you. So, first I'm going to go over your cards and then I'm going to give you a collective message from your inner boss. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you from your inner, inner boss is you can't help who you love, but you can help who how you allow yourself to be treated. So what I'm picking up from this card in particular is that you, you are in an environment where people, where you don't really necessarily fit in and people let's i'm just giving an example let's say people think you are polite or impolite or you don't really have people good people skills that's just an example and you are constantly trying to change yourself to be accepted because you want people to like you now what is happening is that it's because you are in a um in a, in a field or a job or area where it's not when i say where you don't belong it's like your inner boss cannot thrive in an environment where it doesn't feel that it it's, it belongs. Like if you are a bird and you're trying to rule under the sea and you're not an undersea bird, and, and there may be absolutely nothing wrong with you and they're always complaining about your feathers or the fact that you can't breathe or the fact that you can't stay underwater long, a long time. So they're putting you down and you're constantly trying to figure out, well, what can I do? as a bird you know as a canary to stay under the to stay underwater well the, well one day you may have to figure out wait a minute i don't really need to live under the water yeah maybe i don't belong here if i have to keep altering myself to fit in maybe this isn't the place for me so basically when you are someplace where you don't fit in you start to develop a negative relationship with yourself. You're always trying to change yourself. And you start to wear a mask. You start wearing a mask, hoping that you will develop the skill set and the right persona and earth suit or uniform, let's say uniform, so that people can see that you actually belong there. And what happens is that one of the cards you have, it says, you become what you think. So if you are in an environment where, you know, people are telling you you need to change in order to fit in, and you start having all these negative thoughts about yourself, say, oh my God, if only I could, you know, figure out how to be like everybody else. Maybe, you know, if only I could just, oh, if I could just be like everybody else, if I could just swim as fast as everybody else, and maybe if I didn't have this beak, you know, then what happens is you start to feel negative about yourself. And when you start to feel negative about yourself, your inner boss can't thrive. Your inner boss thrives when it feels that it is where, or, you know, where it belongs. So one of the cards you have, which is a very powerful message, is that you really, you really need to take off your mask. This mask that you have created to fit into society, you know, that you have been suppressing who you really are so that people, you know, will like you so peaceful. You can maybe sometimes people just want to move up and they don't understand why they, while, why they are overlooked for a promotion. They don't understand why things, why things aren't working out for them. It's because you're just really just not where you belong because where you belong is where you thrive. So you have a card from Jungle Beauty Goddess Charlie. And her message to you is, she says, unapologetically be yourself. Unapologetically be yourself. Do you know what that means? It means that if you have a beak, you don't need to exchange your beak for a fan. You don't need to try to be anybody else. If you are a, a reserved person or if you are a shy person or if you are a person who is gregarious and loud and outspoken, you need to own those characteristics. You need to be yourself and you don't need to apologize to anybody for being yourself because your inner boss feels like the only way you're going to be able to boss up is by you know, be yourself. You can't be a boss if you're constantly tucking in your feathers and tucking in your tail and trying to, you know, be, uh, create a mask 
so that everybody else will like you. A boss, that's not, those are not the traits of a boss. So your inner boss wants you to unapologetically be yourself and to stop thinking negative things about yourself based off of being around people who really aren't a part of your um, soul pool. They really aren't a part of your 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 divine plan. So, but in a way, these people are positive because they're really there to push you towards where you really belong. And once you take off your mask and accept yourself and not try to, you know, be what other people think you should be or act the way other people think you should act, Jungle Beauty Guys, Katara's card for you is saying at this point, you can create your own place in the world by doing what brings you joy. But you can't do what brings you joy if you have feathers and you're trying to trade a man for fans. Does that make sense? So your first, the first thing you must do is be honest with yourself. Look at the people around you. So you have the card that says, um, let me get this card together here. It says you can't help who you love, but you can help how you allow yourself to be treated. Like you might really love those people and love your job or love... There may be aspects that you love, but when people are constantly telling you that, you know, you laugh too loud, you talk too much, you are too aggressive, you you know, and you're constantly trying to change to make them happy, you suppress the power of your inner boss. And your inner boss is saying that you don't need to be in an environment where people are constantly asking you to be someone that you aren't. And the danger of that is that, is that you become what you think. If you're in a, uh, in a place where you're constantly trying to be who other people think you should be, act the way they think you should act, and then you are down on yourself because you're thinking like, oh my God, I really wish I was more outspoken. I really wish I had, and you're, you know, you're putting yourself down constantly because you're feeling like, wow, um, I'm just not good enough because I'm not the way that they think I should be. Your inner boss is saying, it's nothing wrong with you. Um, you're thinking what you are, your thoughts are reflective of the environment that you're in. It's reflective of the people you are around who are telling you that you need to be somebody else. And your car from Jungle Beauty Goddess, Chobby, it said, look y'all, in order for your inner boss, your inner boss message to you is so strong. It says to un unapologetically be yourself. Now, you also have a message from your star alien being, this beautiful orange. Well, I always hate kissing them because I leave my lipstick on them. Ad adventuring or calcite. I think I don't know if it's an adventuring or calcite. And this is the message that I have for you. It says, that, well, basically your star alien being says that it cautions you um, to find your joy under your feet. They don't really feel that you should focus on leaving the, let's say, leaving the sea with your beak. Okay. They say you should find joy under your feet. That you, wherever you are right now, this is an opportunity for you to grow. There is a reason that you are where you are at this moment. And that you may have insight and wisdom to look at a problem in a unique fashion, unlike anyone else there. Because they all, because the people who are all alike, they seem to think the same way. Your inner boss is an entity that pushes its will into fruition. It doesn't run. It pushes down and roots itself and develops from where, from where it is planted. Um, this is pretty interesting. Um, it dominates, and then it moves on. When people run away from a problem, they keep coming into the same problem because they have not evolved, grown, or changed. Look for opportunities where you are to express your truth. This is what I really love about the Star Alien Beings is they give like a different, different insight. So basically your inner boss is telling you that you're in an environment where you really don't necessarily belong and you've taken on this negative persona based off of people who are asking you to constantly change. And you're now you've begun to wear a mask, which has affected the way you think about yourself, which makes it difficult for your inner boss to emerge and to find, you, you won't be able to, to well, it will be difficult for you to find a place in the world where you um, can express yourself and feel joyful 
if you're feeling down on yourself because you're trying to meet the expectations of people who of, of people who do, who um, it's not that they're bad people it's just that you don't fit in the star alien beings message to you is basically look you are where you are for a reason and that you should use this as an opportunity to shine and not try to fit in. Your inner boss likes to dominate, it likes to rule, and it likes to show off. So your star alien being is telling you, as opposed to running away, grow where you are. Don't <laughs> don't run away. Make them push. Make them say, you know what? Um, she got it. You know, like make it a situation where you are a boss. That your inner your star alien being wants you to boss up and change the world where you are with the skills that you have and make them love you the way you are i really hope this reading helps someone thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video hello darling if you selected number one the denim divine feminine butterfly this is your inner boss reading each divine feminine butterfly is stuffed with what I like to call my supreme dream mix of herbs, oils, and gemstones for beauty, love, prosperity, and good luck. If you would like to purchase a divine feminine butterfly, they are available in my Etsy shop. The link is located in the description box below. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. If you selected the Denim Blue Divine Feminine Butterfly, this reading is for you. First, I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my intuition about the message from your inner boss. The very first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby's message to you from your inner boss is Mind Your Own Affairs. The next card I have for you from Jungle Beauty Goddess, you have, you're pulling in another Charlie, which we're talking about our third chakra, which is our action center. And her message to you is be your own hero. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai's message to you is surprise yourself, do something you have never done before. And the last card I have for you with a message from your inner boss is from Dramata, who is the general beauty goddess's father who represents dark matter and energy. And his message to you is you are the creator. You are the ruler of your reality. So basically what I'm picking up from your hand is that your inner boss wants you to boss up and boss yourself around. Yeah, that's the, that's the big picture message. So what I'm feeling from this particular reading is that you're the kind of person with a very strong work ethic. You work hard and you have a lot of good ideas, but people don't appreciate the time, the energy, and the work that you put into your job. But the truth is they're not... I don't want to say they're not supposed to, but your inner boss is a is a being or an entity or a version of yourself that really wants to be its own hero. So you have the card that says, "Be your own hero." So basically, the next time you have a great idea, the cards are saying you should try this idea for yourself. You should take all of your good advice and all of your, you know, the your. Um, your strong work ethic in terms of working extra and putting everything into it. What if you took that energy and you put it into your own project, into your own dreams, into your own goals? So basically, your inner boss is saying, 
you really are looking for other people to value you to give you that perfect pay that perfect work schedule to look and say oh my god this person is so amazing now this happens you know i hate to say this but even when this does happen it still does not equate to the person who has somehow managed to create their own business that's why even when you see a lot of people like have like on tv shows they create their own businesses because they know that being their own boss is the real pathway to long-term wealth like who's going to fire you when you're your own boss so being your own boss is so important you need to be your own hero you need to save yourself you also have a card from jungle beauty goddess cyanide which is telling you that you should surprise yourself and do something you've never done before this <laughs> so basically if you're the kind of person you you take um, instructions or you take direction from other people well your inner boss wants you to not do that for a change to do something like you know maybe you've always wanted to make a video or maybe you've always wanted to write your own book or maybe you've always wanted to you know have your own pop-up shop but whatever it is your inner boss really wants you to surprise yourself and as opposed to giving that idea away and you know telling other people what to do and working overtime for other people's dreams it is really time for you to take all of that energy and apply it to your own goals and dreams and the last card that I have for you is from Jungle Bee, um from the father the matter and his message to you is you are the ruler of your reality so basically your inner boss is saying look whenever you decide to step up and create the world of your dreams you have the intellect you have the resources you have the discipline you have everything you need to have a very very successful business the message that I have from your star alien being that I actually um, was able to receive off camera is you we work for other people sorry let me get your focus here we work for other people because they value us more than we value ourselves an inner boss understands the value of of his or her own time and the energy exchange of labor and knows how to initiate I'm sorry and knows their innate nature and worth until you learn how to discipline yourself follow through on your goals and remove distractions from your life your inner boss will have difficulty emerging and transforming your life into something amazing so this is the message from your star alien being so basically what I'm picking up big picture is that you really should work on your confidence and believing in yourself and you need to work on bossing yourself around like saying look I am going to follow through on the things that I really want like it's so easy for us to give ourselves away but sometimes we have difficulty taking that same energy and giving it to our own endeavors I really hope this reading helps someone thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.